Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a good look at the Ninjago movie, Destiny's Bounty. Now this thing is absolutely massive, just like all of the other Ninjago sets. As you can see on the back of the box, it is also modular as well. But this is Lego set number 70618 and it is taken from the Ninjago movie. Now what we'll do as normal, look at the box artwork, have a look at the instruction manual, go through the minifigures, strip the boat down itself, have a look at all the detail that's on every single level. Then towards the end of the video, we'll do some comparisons with regards to size to some of the little bits and pieces that we've got. Now moving on to the back of the box, it does show you a lot more. So if we scroll all the way down, you can see each individual thing that you can do. So you can roll the canopies away and then you've got the training piece. You've got a bit where Wu can sleep and you can see you've got three different bits that you can take apart. And there's so much detail on the deck as well. And then you've got some flying fish and then you can also lift up the anchors and you've got some really nice detail on the front of the dragon. Now, if you want to know the size of this, if you were thinking of backtracking it, it is still available on the second hand market. It's 21 inches in length or 55 centimeters centimeters and it's 45 centimeters in height or 17 inches tall so moving on to the instruction booklet it is a thick chunky booklet now you've got each individual thing as always will tell you what stage you're at but there is the ultimate ultimate weapon so that is to do with all with the actual real life cat and as you can see you can come through you've got all the stages and things that you build but the detail, I think, and all the other sets are at the back of this. So you've got all the pieces as per normal. You've got the Ninjago movie and the game as well by the looks of it. So there's your video game. That gives you what is going on at Legoland Resorts at the time of this been actually printed there was one in billund germany malaysia and windsor so there's the four open but you have got a huge amount of sets from the film so so we'll go left to right in the booklet for the set numbers it's 70606 for the training 607 for the police chase 608 for the bridge and then you've got 609 for the shark attack all of those come with really good minifigures there's no 610 but 611 is the first of the team vehicle slash mechs so you've got this one just down here for 706 11 and then we move over for the big green dragon for 706 12 there's no 613 but we have got a 614 with the blue one down to the big mech for 615 there's no 616 but on to 617 is where you've got Garmadon's big tower and then you have obviously got this one where it is 70618. So that is all the sets that were out for the movie. You are spoilt for choice with regards to this movie. Let us know in the comments below if you've got any of these. And then it just tells you about the actual Linjago movie website. But take a look at some of the minifigures, the ones that have got the larger weapons. So Coles in his normal colours, as is all of the others. They do have dual faces, but you can see this one here has got a big hammer. And you've got the nice print on the back. And he's got a little bit of arm sleeve print as well. We move on to the next one of taking the bit off the front for this face that way it's a little bit easier now that you can see that you've got the plaster over the top with the frown and then on the front he's just got the sort of more nervous smile this one again has got the three swords i'll give him an extra sword there is a huge weaponry on this boat which we'll take another look at so this is where they can all train and then the last one with the big sphere and again she's got the really nice blue on the front with the nice silver and she's got nice printing on the front of her legs as well but all the minifigures that are included they do look very very smart so woo obviously legend himself he looks really really nice you've got zane he has the really really amazing sort of freaky face on the front of his so you can see he's got the serious or he's got the really really happy but don't forget he's very much more of a robot in this one than he is in the cartoon so they couldn't have made him any different and then you've got the famous lloyd obviously that is what he is called in this he isn't called lloyd he's called lloyd in the actual movie and again they've all got the very very similar printing on the back just all within their own team colors that's another quick look at the minifigs. Now, I am missing Jay. He is the blue minifigure. He was in one of the Ninjago City reviews that I did, and I can't remember what room I put him in, so I just can't be bothered to look for him. But again, you can see just all of the arm bits and pieces that they've got. They've all slightly different with regards to printing, either on the sleeves or on the feet. So when you do put them all together, I think they do look really, really effective. And obviously, Wu didn't do too much. He's just there driving the boat up at the top. So moving on to the boat itself, what a thing this is. It is packed full of detail. You've got this really, really nice dual dragons at the front where you can move the mouths around. So you really are spoiled with detail on this. It is one of those sets that I am very, very happy that I picked up. Obviously, there's multiple Destiny's Bounties available still, but this one is pretty, pretty special and it's huge. You can just see the size of this. So what we'll do, as we've done in all of the other Ninjago bits and pieces that I've done, so I'll get you at the right angle. I will then start to strip it off. Now, these pieces here, I've done this on purpose. They are loose. This bit is supposed to go up and push down, but I want to get these off without actually breaking anything. So 
This bit comes off as a chunk. So you can see that's one bit. Then this bit also comes off as another big piece. That's why you can see I've kept them loose on purpose, just because it wasn't worth damaging anything. So that's your two big bits on that side. And there are other bits. So if we go through on here first, if I just grab this, so you can just see how this is supposed to come off. I think the easiest way might be for me just to give it a wiggle because it is all in there tweet. So do I need two hands? I think I might do. That is that bit off and that is what is hiding underneath. You can see it is packed full of detail. There's so many different weapons and everything in there and that's obviously where they do all of their training. You do get plenty of spare pieces as well but if I spin the boat all the way around that way we'll be able to see what is actually on the other side of the wall. And then you can see there's even more detail on the inside there. So you've got some body armor. You've got all sorts of just spare pieces. You'll notice that there's a lot of these red translucent sort of lamps as well, which is a really, really nice touch, which you will take a better look at. Now, the weapon, the, the ultimate, ultimate weapon is this thing just here. This is the cat laser, which is obviously a very funny thing from the actual main film itself. Now, fish, you've got all of these at the top. You've got some nice detail on the side. This also works, so you can drop the anchors if you want to and you can raise them up. Obviously, they are dual side. And then you've got all the detail on the side of the boat. Again, this bit here is supposed to clip into this, but I've kept it loose on purpose. Now, you have got moving pieces as well, so you can move them down and then you can move them up and do whatever it is you want to do on the angle. Now, moving on to the next bit, you have got the nice bed, which is where Wu is photographed. So he's got his, I say about to say his family. That is actually all of the ninjas on that picture. And then you've got, what we got? We've got lights. We have got a teapot. There's more weapons on this side, so we have to spin it around again. It does look like you've got a letter, but on the other side... You have got all sorts of other little bits and pieces. You can see you've got a lot more weapons. You've got all the gold bits and pieces. You've got this huge thing just here as well. So with regards to weapons, you're not going to be disappointed in this, I don't think. You've also got this bit at the back. So if you want to sort of get some photos of them looking at bits and pieces like that, you can do. Now, if we go between the sails, there are three sails. You've got this one on the left, this one, and then you've got that one up at the top. And then these two here connect up, which is a really nice touch, very much like the spring lantern set, I guess. And then you've got the lamp and everything at the front. That is all solid, so none of this is supposed to come up, I don't think. He says as he's finding more weapons on the inside because I actually started this a long, long time ago and didn't finish it and I've just done it now. So you've got even more gold weapons. Does all of these open up? They do. So there I am talking nonsense. All of these open up and they've all got different weapons in on the inside and that's why you get so many spare pieces. So you've got two swords, you've got the, all the bits and pieces on the decking so all of these will come up and then you can just reload yourself if you need to. And that's including all of these that are in here and in Wu's quarters as well. Sticking with the outside, you can see you've got these really, really nice translucent red bits on the outside. I think they will make some really nice photos actually. And again, coming back to the dragon at the front, I think they're really, really just cool looking. And you can see that you've got the little like, ice cream bits for the eyes. These were a good little build actually. And the gold is very, very impressive. And you can, well, I think they're gold bananas, aren't they? So you've got the gold bananas up at the front and you can sort of move his eyebrows around and just get them in the right place. And then again, you can just pick and choose how you want to display this on your shelf. Let us know if you've got it. Let me know what you think of this set. Now, if we go back to this, and this is the bit that was on the top just here. So you've just got the bit that looks through. So you can obviously look down into that if you want to and you have got some more bits and pieces in here as well i do believe so we have got some stuff on the inside of this what do we have so on the inside of this one we have got just some brown bars nothing exciting nothing fancy so i do believe actually there probably should be some stickers on those so i will have to hunt them down now on this one there's nothing on that and then you've got some fish as well so you've got some two fish so yes, I would imagine, I know where the sticker sheet is, they should actually have some stickers on, but it is what it is with that. Now, on to these bits. I'm really surprised actually how big 
these pieces are now there's a lot to go on a lot of detail you can see you've got all of this stuff on the outside and it soon adds some height to the set as well so if we just spin all of this around first you can see all of the nice little detail that you can add you've got all these different colors just up at the top the silver and the brown i think work really really nicely and then things like this where all of these are actually built in three sections and then they just get put together and they fit nice and snug up and through on the top if i can actually tip this i think that might be a little bit easier if i rest it on the boat and hopefully it won't slide off so we have got these three big weapons just here they're the ones that were just about to fall out as i tip that thing over they actually sit in that little basket just in the far corner and then you can see you've got more bow and arrow you've got some nice nice color of the red on the back so you've got plenty of places to put the minifigures in there and then you have got like a training dummy in the corner you've got some more swords that you can pull out if you need to and then again if you wanted to learn what that is you'd have to go over to the ninjago gardens ninjago sit your docks and it will actually give you the alphabet at the start of that video in the instruction booklet now this itself should easily just go back up onto the top so if i spin this round that's how that should sit we plonk these pieces back in just so they are not going to get lost so that's piece number one piece number two sits in that bit as well and they all sit just in that corner just in there so they've got they've gone into that and then this is the bit that is going to be covering over so if i was just to pick this up bring it round it should go between the sail and it should just slot just like that there you go so it's now in so that is now in nice and tight and then what i would do is then just push these back in just because it is so snug to the back so that's all i wanted to do i just wanted to make sure that i didn't break the back of this off now you can move these all of these are movable and each one of these you can actually manipulate an angle the best way for you so that's a it's a real clever design but now you can see with these bits at the back you can easily add one of the minifigures in there at the back end and then obviously this just spin to do whatever it is that you wanted to do now moving on to the next piece that goes on top of this which is this next bit with the sail now we've already seen that this does fold up so you can raise them up and then you probably get some nice photos on the inside if you wanted to but on the inside this is where we will be standing to actually pilot it and then you have got this cool little lamp which sits over the top now again you've got another one of these which actually then lets you look down into the next section if we were just to pull two of these back you can see all of the detail on this side so you can see there's lots going on with regards to the maps you've got some nice little flowers all bits and pieces on this bit and then over on this side again you've got other little bits with stuff just up at the top you've got stuff hidden away up in there and then you can see the map where they're on their sort of hunt for. And then on the front, which is, I've actually put the spare one just up at the top. You can see you've got the compass on the top. And I actually put the spare one on the centre of the steering wheel. And then if we come around and to the back, this is where you've got some more detail as well. So this is where I think you can get some nice photos because you can just spin these lamps around have them at whatever angle you want and then you've got this thing at the back as well and then all of a sudden it does add quite a bit of height so if we got this back up and on so i need both hands for this one because it is a little bit bigger and you've got to be careful of the sail when you put this on but again that just slots and sits just on so that is in and that is what that looks like so again you've got some really really nice detail obviously that is from the back end so that's why the sails are sort of in reverse all up all the way through it's just nice so that's now pushed in that is now flush and then coming over and to this side it is a really nice looking thing so what i do as a comparison in case the size isn't coming through i'll grab one or two things now just so we can see just how big this thing actually is so for the first comparison we'll start with the trusty indiana jones set now look how small this car is against the side of this boat obviously the boat is oversized but then at the same time it fits the whole team on and it is great to get all the photos for the minifigure so this is pretty much I would say perfect for a mini figure scale thing just with regards to how wide it actually is but again with the plane you do this every single time you've got the big wingspan on that this is just a really good size scale plane and it looks absolutely tiny going up against this boat 
So for the second comparison, one for you Star Wars fans. Hopefully, if you are a Star Wars fan, you might have this in your collection. And if you do know, this thing is not exactly small. But we get that lined up at the front with the dragons as we pan round. You can just see that the boat is at the back for the Ninjago is still longer. And obviously, you can just see how much taller this thing actually is as well. Obviously, the perfect comparison would be the Barracuda Bay. But instead, you're going to get the big T-Rex from the Jurassic Park gates instead. Because my Barracuda Bay at the moment is actually in pieces as a desert island now we have got this thing if you've got the Jurassic Park gates you know how tall this thing is and you can just see the sails are still well above the top of this so for the third comparison what we'll do we we'll use one of the modular buildings so we've got the old bait shop this thing is absolutely beautiful but if we get it actually lined up so we come to the top of the roof we are from here onwards is the same height so this roof here isn't to the bottom part of this so if you have got this or one of the modular buildings this is roughly the same height as most modulars you can see again just how much bigger that thing is but that is it i am done so if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel that'd be absolutely fantastic keep your eyes peeled for the full comparison of this going against the docks the actual main ninjago city and again the gardens as well so we've got all of those sort of battle videos to come and it'd be nice to see all three of the lego movie ninjago sets sort of side by side we can just see how well this thing scales with the docks as well so keep your eyes open for those they'll be coming sooner rather than later but guys as always thank you very much for watching you lot take care and i'll catch you next one Ta-da.